it's a new season, P1 Superstock 2013. Welcome to the lovely Stewart, Florida, where we're hosting round one of P1 Superstock for 2013. was a thrilling season. We had a lot of great action. Here's a little recap. The 2012 P1 Superstock USA Championship started off in St. Cloud, Florida, and here's the 2012 champion, Andy Biddle. When it comes to St. Cloud, obviously we were rookies in St. Cloud. Hammer down, and they are side by side. Oh, it catches the weight, it's over. He's flipped. And that checkered flag makes this their weekend. From there, we moved on to Biloxi. And in Biloxi, we pretty much dominated it the, the entire weekend. Race is stopped. Race is stopped. Out. They take every single heat. Pittsburgh offered uh, a new challenge. Extremely small, really kind of choppy, roughy water. Um, and it was a learning experience on how to turn the boat sharp point. And Laborsi Marine Products, whoop, takes a little hop right there. From there, we moved on to, to Detroit for the Gold Cup. You know, that's the granddaddy of them all. That's the, the big deal. Side by side. Well, it had some low water areas, and then it had a real sharp turn down on the end, and then it was kind of like ovaled around otherwise. So it kind of threw a little curve to us from what we were used to. From there, we went to Moorhead City for the championship. But these boats are, because they're side by side down the front straight away. Oh, really close. <laughs> Lavorsi at Pier 57. You know, well, I had some issues there. I ended up flipping the boat over. Uh, I did get the boat running again, but the motor expired after that. So I had accumulated enough points to become national champion. As we get ready for round number one in Stewart, Florida, let's take a look at the teams competing in the 2013 P1 Superstock USA Championship Series. This year we have two father and son teams and two husband and wife teams making P1 Superstock USA a true family affair. Okay, James Neville and Christian Young. The racing here is very different. Uh, it's calm water. We don't even get to test in water like this at home, so uh, it's all new to me, but we'll do our best. In the number nine, Team Lavorsi is the husband and wife team of Craig and Cynthia Belfado. It's all even, uh, close racing. Everybody's an equal, so it's all down to driver and throttleman. It's basically anybody can win. AO Coolers, Daniel Race and Glenn Gray. Glenn was my first co-pilot back in 99, and we started factory racing. Had a good opportunity. Uh, Martin Sanborn uh, got me in one of these boats a few weeks ago, and I loved it. And then he called me the week later and said, uh, you make it to Stewart, we'll put you in the boat. For Pier 57, number 17, the father and son team, Bill and Elijah Kingery. The more time we get in the boat, the more comfortable we get, the more comfortable we get, the faster we get. In the number 33, driving for Choi Lee Yacht, Jean and Paula Weeks. She's a heavy equipment operator and a CDL licensed over the road truck driver. So she knows how to drive stuff. It's just, you know, she'll just have a couple of laps and she'll get the hang of it. In the number 55, Morton Water, the father and son team, Tom and Jason Morton. We've worked together, we've a business together for the last 15 years, so we really understand each other, we can read each other, and uh, I think that'd be an advantage to us. 
Things are buzzing around here. We're just about to get started with the driver's briefing. Going to hear a little bit more about safety and course layout. Here at Stewart, the course is just over one mile long and it is an oval. The teams will be making left-hand turns around this race course, starting with a running start and watching for the flag. The start-finish line is right in front of the beach at the judges' stand and each heat will be 10 laps. Let's take a look at the P128 SS Panther. This is a one-design racing series with all of the boats being identical. They're 28-foot-long V-bottom single-engine outboard, all powered by the Evinrude 250HO E-Tech engine. At the pilot's briefing, teams drew for propeller selection. All the props are identical. Mercury Bravo right-hand rotation 26-inch propellers. Okay, wait a minute. You're a champion from last year. You start the season pulling the ace and picking the first yeah, prop? I mean, well, that was Tracy, you know. I mean, he, I, I'm not good at that. I'm bad luck at that, but he's really, really good at that kind of stuff. So I let him do his thing. He pulled the ace, you know. We got the first, first pick of propeller, and we get to qualify first before it gets rough. So wow, that I would... think it might play a, you know, might play to our advantage. That's a good sign. Qualifying in Stewart is going to be done with individual laps. Each team will run two laps around the race course, one to get set up, one under the stopwatch. Fastest team will get the inside lane for the start of heat number one. First boat to take the course was Pro Boat with Andy Biddle and Tracy Blumenstein, our 2012 champions. Next boat up here, 57, the father and son team, Bill and Elijah Kingery. The third boat on the course is the other father and son team, Tom and Jason Morton from Morton Water. With nearly all of the boats running just under one minute in their qualifying times, the fastest time went to Pro Boat with our champions Andy Biddle and Tracy Blumenstein. Lane two goes to Pier 57. Next is Morton Water, P1 Marine Foundation, and AO Coolers. Here we go for start of race one. Martin, can you tell us a little bit about the weather conditions out here? Yeah, you know, the, the wind changed 180 degrees from what it was yesterday. Today, it's really rough on the race course. We've been the only ones to be able to go out and run. So we did a testing session. We, are, we're gonna, we did our qualifying. We're getting ready for heat number one. It's going to be bumpy right by the intercoastal. It's going to be really bumpy as the guys make their turn with the sea pushing them. And as they make the turn at turn one, they're going to be turning right into it. It's going to be really exciting. We're going to air these boats out. This is nothing any of these people have seen before because they're used to seeing the boats that are used to running on a little bit calmer water. As the boats approach the start finish line for the start on the inside pro boat and we have a green flag the boats are underway off to a good jump is pro boat. Pier 57 drops back just a little bit but coming back hard on the outside is AO Coolers. On board with Morton Water as they are just eating water off the back end of the leader pro boat. They move around just getting by Pier 57, but coming up hard on their tail is the P1 Marine Foundation. As we go on board P1 Marine Foundation, you can see they're on the outside line. This is looking back on AO Coolers, but P1 Marine Foundation, our team from the UK, has now moved themselves into third place. On board with Morton Coolers as they just clip each of those buoys. As they're trying to run down Pro Boat. Oh, they come right up on the back of Pro Boat. Oh, oh, okay, baby. Hold on. Pro Boat has a problem and they get almost run over by Morton Water. Let's take another look at that as Provo comes to a stop right at the turn marker and just barely missing them. Morton Water drives right around on the outside, but they now move into the lead. Okay, guys, we're in the judges' stand. Checker flag is out. Pull to the infield. Woo! And after that near miss, they take the checker flag and heat number one win. Woo! And after heat one, our leaders are Morton Water, second place, Pier 57, third place, our UK team, the P1 Marine Foundation, followed by Pro Boat, AO Cooler, CLAlpha.com, and Laborsi. The first probably two or three buoys, we couldn't see nothing. And just as soon as it cleared up, we were about a foot behind uh, Behind number one. Yeah, behind the number one boat. And it was, it was just luck that we missed him. And he slowed up, and we was all over. <clears throat> we, yeah. went, we went around him and never looked back. 
As we get started with heat number two, that boats line up in the order they finished in the last heat. That puts Morton Water on the inside as they approach the start finish line. And there's the start finish line. Pro Boat got a little bit of a jump. Pro Boat out to the lead as they head towards turn one. You look back from Pro Boat at the entire fleet. Morton Water on the inside. Pro Boat comes across the front. Oh, Morton Water again clips. Oh, and they got cut off just a little bit and spun the boat out. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. We're good. Keep going, keep going. Good. All right, let's take a look at that one more time. Morton Water clips the buoy, lose their line, spin the boat out right on the tail. A pro boat. Boat around, boat over. No, keep going, keep going, they're right side up. Right back on the power as they get up and running. Here you see it from another angle. They clip the buoy, get right up over the top of the wake and stick to the nose, spinning the boat out. Now the heat continued and Pro Boat ends up taking the checkered flag, but the chief referee is going to have to review the situation as they pull to the inside. AO Coolers right on their tail comes in second place, Pier 57 in third, followed by the P1 Marine Foundation. There is a reason they won the championship in 2012. They are one of the best teams in the sport, but this time they got a penalty. That puts the first career win ever for Daniel Race and AO Coolers. Pier 57 in second, P1 Marine Foundation takes the third. He's a little emotional, you know. Um, we, he's been in the sport for a long time. He's followed some of these guys that are racing out here Andy, around. And uh, I used to follow Andy around 10 years ago with Lance Hendrickson out of Riverside, California. And I've taken so many second, second places, it's not even funny. And I got it. I hope, as long as, we, this, as long as it weighs, which it should, we got it, my first flag. We've had two great races. Join us back here in Stewart after the break. Welcome back to Stewart, Florida. Let's check out what's happening in the pit. In the first race, we won pole position. However, uh, our, our gear case kept popping out into neutral. We did that twice. Made it the whole way back up to fourth, I think, right? Something like that. Uh, and then in the second race, uh, I guess we... Quick on the throttles. We were a little quick at the start, <laughs> according to the consensus. So, yeah, I mean, today we're going to be coming, and I'm going to be bringing hell with me. So everybody ought to be on the watch out today. We've had a great couple of races, but we had some drama. We did. In the second heat, the number one boat jumped the start. He got a great run on it, but ultimately he was penalized 30 seconds. That moved him back to seventh place. Additionally, as he went around turn one, he was issued a yellow card for what the chief referee deemed an unsafe lane change. And ultimately, that didn't have any impact on the finish position, but we're really, really, really critical about safety. Here comes heat number three of this four heat event. The teams are lined up in the inverse of their finish position from the last heat. There he is. Go, and go, we go, have a go. green flag as we are on board Lavorsi Marine as they look off to their left at the winners of the last heat. That is AO Coolers. Team Lavorsi and CL Alpha start on the outside as rookies. On the inside is the father and son team of Tom and Jason Morton. They have the inside lane and they move out to an early lead. As we look back on AO Coolers at Lavorsi Marine just on the outside of their wake. And this is on board with Tom and Jason Morton. As you can see, they have clean water. Racing right in front of the causeway here in Stewart. First place is Morton Water. Second place, Provo, trying to make up ground. And we look at the battle between AO Coolers and Lavorsi. Left, counter, counter, stay there. Left, right, 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 right. Clean water, right? Clean water, right, right. There you go, stay there. Craig Belfato talking to his wife, Cynthia, as they make their way around the race course. And they definitely have some boat speed as they are running down AO Coolers on the outside. But AO Coolers has the inside lane. Lavorsi goes way wide, sweeping way wide, giving up a ton of ground to AO Coolers. As we look at the view from AO Coolers looking forward, Lavorsi Marine on the outside gets a 
crazy hop as they go around. She has to correct it. She got a little bit sideways over the wake. Pushes back to the outside. Cynthia on the wheel, Craig on the throttles. The P1 Marine Foundation boat getting chased down by Pier 57. Dramatically calmer water in this heat as our leader comes around the course. That is Jason and Tom Morton, the father and son team from Moorhead City, North Carolina. But the battle for second and third between the P1 Marine Foundation boat and Pier 57. Pier 57 diving all around, trying to get around them. But clean water out front. Tom and Jason Morton in Morton water. You can see how he can pick whatever line he wants. White flag is out. One lap to go in this third heat of four in Stewart. Jason Morton on the wheel. Tom Morton on the throttles. As he comes around turn four towards the start finish line, he is going to take his second checkered flag of the event weekend. This is the first race for this father and son team here in Stewart. And to come up with two checkered flags so far, what an accomplishment. Second place is going to go to the P1 Marine Foundation boat, our UK entry. That is James Neville and Christian Young. But we go back and take a look at our winners for heat number three, Morton Water with Tom and Jason Morton. Top three finished positions are going to be number 55, Morton Water. Second place goes to P1 Marine Foundation. And third place goes to Pier 57. We, we didn't have any gauges. Uh, the gauge department, we didn't, as soon as we got out there, the trim gauge won't work. So we didn't know what was why. So we were just being conservative. You know, I mean, we just had, we had absolutely no gauges at all. It ripped out on the, uh, on yesterday's race. Well, that's even, if that's all the better, you guys made it happen. Here you go. And let's head back out to the race course for our fourth and final heat. Once again, the teams line up in the inverse order from their last finish. Looking good, looking good. Come on, let's play it. And go, go, go. And we have a green flag. Pier 57 gets a good jump. AO Coolers on the inside. They're going to move ahead. And the P1 Marine Foundation boats get hosed down in third place as AO Coolers jumps out to the lead. Pier 57 on the outside. P1 Marine Foundation right on their hip in third position as we look back on AO Coolers and see just how close Team Pier 57 is on the outside. That is the father and son team of Bill and Elijah Kingery. Not even a boat length separating them as they're going right through the rooster tail. AO Coolers controls the line, but trying to go to the inside is the P1 Marine Foundation boat. Again, the Pier 57 boat getting hosed down. P1 Marine Foundation on the inside. Probo dives across the wake, tries to pick a better line, but he's got a boat right alongside. He can't do it. Side by side right now. P1 Marine Foundation gets up alongside Pier 57. Oh, and he spun the boat out. The P1 Marine Foundation boat went right over the top of a wake at a turn, spun the boat out. Corrected it. He's now buck up and running, but that is going to take him out. Let's go back on board. You see him get right over the top of the wake in a turn. The nose dips, spins the boat out. As the P1 Marine Foundation boat gets back up and running, and we're on board Team Lavorsi as they're going around the turn, and she spins the boat out also. All right? Yeah. All right, here we go. As we hear Craig conferring again with Cynthia. Proboat now in a side-by-side -side battle with Morton Water. Our champions, boat number one on the inside, on the outside, the father and son team of Tom and Jason Morton. Proboat goes to the inside, tries to get the clean water. Coming up hard on the outside, though, is Morton Water. Andy Biddle and Tracy Blumenstein on the inside. He's going to hold the line. Oh, and he spins the boat out. But what a great correction. Right, right over the top of the wake, running hard. Everybody pushing so hard in this fourth and final heat here in Stewart. That's going to cost Pro Boat some room. As we take a look at that one more time, as they just hook it over the top of a wave, what a great correction by Andy Biddle. As we look at Morton Water now, 
on the inside of Pier 57. He's managed to get past the other father and son team of Bill and Elijah Kingery in Pier 57. A.O. Coolers continues to lead. What a great move by Morton Water as they move up a little bit more distance. As we look back on A.O. Coolers, looking at the second place boat, Morton Water. That was on board with Tom and Jason. A.O. Coolers comes around turn four. They are in the lead. Here's the view. Oh, and he just thumps the buoy. That is Tom and Jason in Morton Water, trying to make up as much ground as they can. A.O. Coolers comes around the start finish line. And they take the win in heat number four. That is two checkered flags for Daniel Race, a veteran racer. First two checkered flags he's ever gotten in his racing career here in Stewart. So AO Coolers, a new series sponsor for P1 Superstock, takes the win. Second place goes to the father and son team of Tom and Jason Morton. Third place goes to Pier 57 with Bill and Elijah Kingery. Congratulations! Here we go. Thank you. As the points are total for the weekend, Morton Water walks away with the win overall. A.O. Coolers in second, followed by Pier 57 in third. We've done three starts from the fifth position, but today we went from the inside, which we had the inside lane, and once we had it, it was ours. The whole key is, uh, just getting a really good start. I mean, these boats, they want us to be so even off the start finish line. It's crucial getting that start, uh, you know, and then just hugging the inside. We had to protect the inside lane the whole time and, uh, you know, came out with a win. It was, it was great. Just coming in second place and uh, pushed inside a little, little, which made us spin out. So uh, ended up at the back of the pack. No podium this weekend. Had your first spin out. You've been great. christened. That was great. I loved it. I think we went around, what, 20 times? That's what it felt like. I, I said, are you all right? She goes, I'm all right. I said, here we go. I said, here we go. It's, it's, it's rock and roll. We just got back up and started going. I think we had a couple more laps. We would have called them. What a fantastic day of racing from a very windy Stewart, Florida. We'll see you next time in Daytona.